how to use data encryption and decryption in Microsoft SQL Server. Hello everyone. Again, I am Jai, and wish you all a good day. The content of our video today is how to use data encryption and decryption in Microsoft SQL Server. Let's get started. The first thing we will do creates the database name XR10. Then next is the create database table name, employee master list. Let's also create an auto increment data ID and make it the primary key. Then the data fields of our database table. Let's make all the data types of our data fields. Our var binary max because the value of the data we put in it is encrypted. Let's put the data fields we need. These will serve as data storage. I think we're done. For now, the names of our data fields, let's execute this. We will also create stored procedures with the name of sp underscore crud underscore m underscore master list. Next, we will also make the parameter variables of our stored procedures. The at data underscore one variable, we will use for the value of our key, and here we will put our key that will be used in encryption and decryption. Let's put the data fields we need, these will serve as data storage. Let's create for pinned mode 1 options. This is our insert SQL statement. Here we will also put our script for encrypting data. But before that, let's first create a declared variable table here above. We'll use it for our data validations.
decrypting data, we will use built-in SQL functions with the name decrypt bypass phrase, before we save the data to our database table. Let's apply the data one parameter, the value is our key for data encryptions. validate our data. Let's check if it already exists. Let's also create our SQL insert statement. This is the built-in function with the name encrypt bypass phrase for our data encryptions. We have already executed this stored procedure so that we know if there is a return error. Next, we have the PITMO2 options for our SQL SELECT statement. We will use data decryption so that the saved data can be read by the human eye. The reason why we encrypt the data stored in our database table is for security purposes. In the event that our database is stolen, accessed, or hacked, they will not be able to use our data.
If you want the source code of the stored procedure just leaves a comment in the comment section below. I will reply with a link. Yeah.